Okay, thank you, Year 7s. Uh, just going to look at how we're actually going to join uh, the front piece of the dog, the spacer, and the backing piece. Now, I've got a nice template here, if you just want to come forward and just have a quick look. So this is a drilling template. I've got the front face, the spacer, and I have the backing piece all lined up and ready. Now, just to make sure that I'm holding the spacer in the right place. I'm just going to use some double-sided tape that you can cut with your hands. Please do not use the scissors. Get this double-sided tape, stick it down, carefully use your fingers to move the front of the double-sided tape off and stick the spacer exactly where you want it. That's just going to momentarily hold it while you drill it. Then you put the backing piece on top of your own spacer in the jig. Place it wherever you need it and make sure you have it in the right place. Now, next thing, we're just going to move over here. With that ready, we're going to move over to the pillar drill. Now, we're going to use the pillar drill for the pilot hole. This pilot hole is needed because we don't want the screw to actually split the wood. So we're going to pilot hole uh, using a twist drill cutter in the uh, pillar drill. So. Uh, we're going to switch on the drill, but before we do that, we have to make sure we have glasses on. If anything goes wrong, make sure that you press the red brake on the uh, bottom of the pillar drill and to switch it on is green and to um, open it up uh, with the mushroom stop there, just turn it over to the right hand side. Now, uh, glasses on, make sure that you have your apron on, ties are all tucked in. Um, I'm just going to hold the actual lever on the top, switch it on, make sure that your guard is down, make sure that there's nobody in the red area marked out because uh, this is your um, safety zone. Uh, we're going to switch it on now and hold it. I'm going to pull down the lever nice and carefully, concentrating on my work. Make sure you do not touch the uh, actual cutter bit and drill it down as far as the chuck will let you. and leave it up, switch it off, open it up for the next user and pull out your piece. Glasses off. Next thing we're going to do is that we're going to widen the pilot hole. The reason why we need to do this is because we need to make sure that the countersink on the actual screw is level with the back of the, um, with the, back of the backing piece so that you're not going to uh, scratch your wall at home. So we're going to just wide it now with the countersink cutter. So if you watch here, I have the countersink cutter in the portable drill and I'm now going to just, just get you to pan back, sir. I'm just going to use my shoulder and really force down and make a good big hole about five millimeters deep. This is a portable drill. Make sure you do not touch the cutter bit while you're cutting, because if you do, you'll cut yourself. And finally, to drive the screw, I'm going to get the screw and a screwdriver. Please do not use the portable drill, because you just don't know your own power. Use a screwdriver, put the screwdriver into the top of the screw, and one more time, use your shoulder and drive through. Before you do this process a second time, make sure that you open it up, put in your marble, and pilot hole it, and go off and do your second screw. That's it.